Hi there, I'm Kate McCombs. And I'm Louise Voucher. And together we are Team Sex Ed. So today we are joined by our dear friend and colleague, Gareth. Yay! Who, like us, is a, a sex geek and teaches sex education all over the world. And like them, I'm also a hot, sweaty mess in the middle of Central Park. <laughs> yes, so we're in the middle of Central Park and it's a very hot summer's day. And uh, why are we here, Kate? What's going on? Well, we're here because we've got a tunnel in the background. And Louise, why would we be talking about tunnels? Okay, so we, we need this tunnel because today we're talking about anal sex. So the question we're addressing today is, what's up with anal sex? Why do people want to do it? Doesn't it just hurt? So in terms of why a person would want to do some anal play or anal sex, there are actually a lot of reasons. There's also a lot of reasons why you might not want to. So that's always totally fine if it's not something you're into. But let me just use my bum puppet. So. Your actual anus is rich in nerve endings. There's lots and lots of nerve endings on the outside here, which can be responsive to stroking, vibration, or like licking with the tongue. As you go further in the bum, there's a second ring of muscle. And when people talk about pain in anal sex, often that second ring is the cause of the pain. So what's really important is that you go slow, use your fingers or a vibrating butt plug or similar toy to really make sure you're massaging those rings of muscle open. And of course, plenty of lube. There's only three reasons why you would ever want to have anal sex, and it seems kind of simplified, if you will, but uh, it's because you want to have it, your partner wants to have it, or your whole wants to have it. And I'm going to have to explain the last one for you, but um, sometimes it's uh, your partner's deciding to try it for the first time, and you might be persuaded by that. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're always going to have a partner that wants to try new things and maybe that gets you over the hill. Um, you yourself uh, want to explore it. It's something that you are titillated by or you know, you're excited about. But the third one is really where it's at for me. It's when uh, you feel that your uh, organ, orifice, place really wants something that you probably have never had before. So you get this feeling of fullness that you think that's really going to get it for me or um, a kind of titillation ar around um, someone using their tongue on, on your anus and things like that. So those kind of things um, are really where it's at in terms of uh, the motivations or anal-vations for um, having anal sex. Um, not to put a hierarchy on it, but when your whole wants it, I say go for gold. Often when people are talking about anal sex, they are talking about penis in anus sex, not realizing that there are all of these other ways to enjoy anal stimulation that are perhaps even more pleasurable to some people. Um, so using your hands, using your mouth, or using toys like this um, can go a long way in making you feel more comfortable and getting you more familiar with the ways that your body responds to that kind of stimulation. So before you take the, take the plunge or the spelunk, so to speak, um, enjoy many of the steps along the way as well. I've been told to sit on this bench and talk about poo. I wish this was the first time that's ever happened to me, but um, actually this request is made of me very, very often. Um, the reason why I'm talking about it is often this is a concern of people who are doing first time anal play. Uh, and it's a legitimate concern. It's something that you probably um, have a little bit of a phobia or at least uncomfortability about. Um, but in essence, if you play in the sandpit, you're going to get dirty. Um, and there's sub uh, there's optimal and suboptimal times for, for anal play. You can either put it in your Google Calendar, um, you can avoid heavy meals and Indian food the night before. You know, like you basically just got to work it out yourself. Um, but once you do and you feel more comfortable, go for it. All right, thanks so much for watching. That was our intro video to anal sex and anal play. So now you have a few bits of advice or information to take away with you. So you can get out your butt puppet and uh, start playing. Uh, that's mine, actually. <laughs> I dropped it earlier. So. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Go slow. <laughs> Go slow. It's yeah. So good. Knock before entering. <laughs> this is this is like a service top right there. That there is a service top. Um, we'll have to have like a dictionary definition at the end of this video.